All right, what's up everyone? So, time for Battle Station Part 2. A couple months ago, I was recording right before I left my old apartment, just showing you my setup. So here's another Battle Station slash behind the scenes episode of uh, my YouTube channel. Um, so just to give you a feel for what's going on. So if you saw the last one, this part's not gonna be new. I have this huge wooden desk. This is where I do all the action. I actually have less stuff on this nowadays. Um, but you know, same, I still got, uh, this is the X220, I think I said in my last video I'm using it once again, because my X200, it just had a little problem, I'll, I'll fix it, but I'm just, it's down there somewhere, and I'll fix it later. Um, but yeah, I got the X220, got some, got some cord management with twist ties, just stuff like that, um, but I usually keep the desk pretty clean, I just happen to have a, a couple, a little junk in here, but, uh, my, my actual room, I feel like I need decoration, look at all this blank wall, I need to do something about that, but, uh, you know, whatever. Give me your ideas, or or send me, you know, some of the, yeah, what is it, wall hangers or whatever, whatever those things are called. Um, so anyway, uh, this pretty much hasn't changed. Still got this same chair, still got the same desk. This is where I do most of my YouTube recordings and, you know, pretty much all my work that I do at home. Uh, I do have internet at this house, unlike the other one, so that's different. However, I don't have Wi-Fi, so I have to be plugged up to the ethernet all, at all times. Uh, sometimes I'll take this and, you know, take it to my bed or whatever, but, uh, I don't like using the internet in my bed even though, you know, I end up doing it, um, it's probably a bad habit. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's talk about lifestyle. First off, um, it's getting to November, so if, I don't know if you've ever lived in Arizona, um, but, like, in Arizona, if I went out right now, what is it? It's about 2 o'clock. It's still, it's pretty hot in November, still in Arizona. I mean, at least, it, probably in the 80s or something, I don't know. Um, so, like, what I actually like to do during the night is I just open up my windows and let it get as cold as it possibly can, which, you know, can be in the 40s, which isn't that cold, all things considered. Uh, and I just sleep in my sleeping bag, and that's because I'm one of those people who just likes the feeling of coldness and being like, I don't know, uh, just being in utero and something, I guess, I, you know, I don't know what it is. You can psychoanalyze, but uh, yeah, so I like sleeping in my sleeping bag and then I have fur covers on, on top of that. Actually, it's fake fur, but you know, whatever. Um, I actually always sleep with uh, fake fur just because uh, this stuff is relatively cheap. You can get it at like Walmart or a big box store for like 20 bucks, these little ones. And then this one, this queen size one might be like 40 bucks, but they're so good. They, they keep you so warm uh, if you just have them. So I sleep between them with my sleeping bag. Uh, so that's a really weird thing. I can't believe I just told you that, but whatever. I, I think it, it works perfect. It feels great. You're never going to go back from that. Uh, other ergonomic things. So, <laughs> um, you know, I, I have a bunch of my clothes in there, but I actually keep my shorts out here. And yes, it's still short season in Arizona. It's short season all year round, basically. Uh, so when I get out of bed, of course I sleep naked. Uh, all I gotta do is just go over to the shorts, grab them, put on the shoes, uh, put on a shirt. It's always sandal season in Arizona too, but after that, after those three things, I got everything I need for, you know, don't have to do anything fancy to get ready. Uh, don't even put on socks. Um, honestly, if you wear socks with sandals, what's wrong with you? Uh, but I, I just hated getting over here, you know, moving the chair and getting to, you know, whatever stuff I had in there, so I just keep the shorts out here. Much easier. Um, so anyway, one thing, classic leather bag. Um, so one thing that my last place had that this place doesn't is uh, dedicated bookshelves. Um, but now I, I pretty much just put books like in random places, in a couple places. This is one of the segments uh, in our house where I keep books. I, they're just supposed to be normal shelves, probably for like towels or something, because it's right next to the bathroom. Um, but uh, yeah, I just keep most of, oh, probably a third of my books around here. And I used to be autistic and keep them in like by topic, but I actually found it's much better, much funner, if you just put them in a random order. So I pretty much just put them, you know, whatever order I picked them out of my boxes when I was moving, uh, and put them up here. And, you know, people who come always, you know, will peruse the books here and in different places. So, uh, painting, I don't have enough hanging materials, but, you know, I'll do it later. Um, anyway, here's Ryan's room. I'm not going to show you that. Just a bunch of anime posters and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, you got the kitchen, nothing really worth noting in here. Uh, do finally, I had a kitchen at my last place, of course, but I didn't have a kitchen table. So I, I savor this thing, I try to use it as much as possible, but we just don't have that much room on the other side. It sort of annoys me, but I do move this thing out every once in a while. Got some plantains, which I need to, 
they're about to go bad. I need to cook something with them, but uh, that one's hung up. Uh, that one's hung up. But anyway, this is basically the main room slash media center slash recording studio slash whatever else. Uh, we got two couches. This is my official couch. This is Ryan's official couch. Uh, that is the guest chair, uh, which I actually found out by a dumpster. Just sanitized it and brought it in here. It has some upholstery damage, but it's in good shape. I got a futon that's Ryan's. Um, no one really uses it. So. Anyway, so anyway, in my media center, don't have TV, don't have cable, don't have any of that stuff. Uh, this is just an Arch Linux desktop um, using i3 or whatever, pretty much my default setup. Um, and this is where I have all my movies and uh, videos, television shows, music, all the different kind of stuff. Uh, memes even, and me and Ryan will just sit here sometimes when we're bored, you know, watch memes, uh, you know, or peruse through memes, watch TV, something like that, or like usually turn on a movie, but just like forward through it, you know, or something like that, something weird. Um, got some other books in here, two more shelves of them. Uh, again, I like that they're sort of scattered and disor disorganized. Um, oh, look at that. I finally went to the bookstore and got Lovecraft. Uh, I was trying so hard, like there's this used bookstore in Arizona that I always go to, um, but they never seem to have it, but I got a mother load, not just this, but like a gajillion other ones. Uh, of course, I've already read all the Lovecraft stuff, I just wanted to have it, but whatever. Um, uh, coffee table, got some stuff that I'm actively reading. I don't know why Lord of the Rings is out there, but... Um, yeah, so here's my other mic, if we're recording something out here. It's actually on two-person mode, so it records that way and this way. Um, so me and Ryan could record something, something like that. That's where we recorded the podcast or whatever. Uh, and we might be recording more podcasts. I'll tell you more about that later, but that's not super important now. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, so here's where I keep the library books. Um, I just keep them out here just because sometimes I'll actually be out here doing work if I want to, I don't know, be mobile. I'll usually keep the ThinkPad charger here. Um, but yeah, I got, got some Sanskrit grammarians and medieval rhetoric. I've been reading that because I've been looking into more historical linguistics, or like, not historical linguistics as in, well, you know, I mean, whatever. Um, so, Radio Romanche, got some Chris Hutton, got some uh, Christopher Hutton's good, a worth read, a worthwhile read. Uh, let's see what else, just random stuff, got some Thomas Carlyle, I don't know, whatever. Uh, just different stuff I've checked out this semester. I'm a grad student, so I can check things out for like years and years. Um, and last but not least, this is the laundry, uh, the laundry nook, I guess. Uh, just like random cleaning supplies. But here's where I have, this is actually the entryway, but here is where I have the last of the books. A lot of the languagey ones. Uh, some of these are actually Ryan's. I'd probably say in the whole house, maybe a dozen or so books are Ryan's. Um, but yeah, the rest of them, uh, yeah, are mine. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I can fit pretty much all the books. I didn't have to, I was worried I'd have to buy a shelf or something but I actually didn't, uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, that's for another video, I'll, t I'll tell you about that later, um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it, I'm gonna turn off the lights, our electric bill is always a little too high, um, I just needed the good lighting for the video, Let me so anyway, that's basically it, again, we got the media center, and this is where, you know, some of the public fun had, we've had parties here, it actually works, I can actually have parties at my house now, um, and, but most of the work gets done on my own, place, this is where I am responding to all your emails and comments and stuff like this usually. I spend less and less time on the university just because I, there are really only two days I need to go to class and next semester probably even less, but um, anyway, so that's about it. Um, hope you, uh, you know, put all your snarky comments in the uh, comment section or whatever, uh, and I guess I'll read them or whatever, but uh, yeah, so that's my battle station update. You have now seen my behind the scenes, so... See you, see you next time.